Hi, everybody. Welcome to worship this weekend at Sunny Hills Church. Super glad that you decided to click on over here. You know, there's probably a billion or more websites that you could have clicked on right now, and you pick this one. And I want to thank you so much for that. Hey, last week's trivia winner was Hoppy Linkus. Here was the question. Proverbs 1430 says this is life giving. What is it? And the correct answer was a peaceful heart. And so thank you everyone for playing. If you'd like to play the trivia question just uh, for this week, just uh, click on down below this video and you'll see where you can read the question, what the different options are, and then click in your response. In fact, here is the question for this week. Proverbs 17, 17 identifies these two groups as resources for enduring hard times. And boy, we, we've been having some hard times lately, haven't we? Is it friends and family, church and community, parents and children, or brothers and sisters? So if you think you know the correct answer, or even if you want to guess, or if you want to pause the video, grab your Bible, look up Proverbs 17, 17, and the answer will literally leap off the page at you. So go ahead and uh, click below here to play the trivia a question this week. The grand prize winner uh, gets $10 Amazon gift card. Hey, here's our Bible number for this week. Each week we're doing a Bible number, uh, numbers like 3 and 666 and 144,000. Today's Bible number is two question marks. You know, there are some times that we're looking for numbers, we're looking for answers, and all we get is crickets back from God. Sometimes uh, the Bible uh, just leaves an answer unknown, and we don't know the number to fill in the blank. Here's an example in Acts chapter 1, verses 6 through 8. The Bible says this is the early disciples. So when they had come together, they asked the Lord, Lord, will you at this time restore your kingdom to Israel? They had expected that after the resurrection that uh, Rome would be overthrown and that their lives would be like back to normal and they would be, uh, uh, the kingdom of Israel would come back in full force. And Jesus said this, he said to them, it is not for you to know the times or the seasons that the Father has fixed by his own authority. You know, there are some things that we're just not ever going to know, this side of heaven. There are some questions that you have, some answers that you seek, some life situations that still remain undecipherable to you, ununderstandable, and all you see are question marks. And... Um, even the early disciples had to deal with it, this. I mean, their great expectation was that Israel would be restored to its grandeur, that things would be like they were years ago. It just wasn't the case. But then Jesus doesn't leave them there. He doesn't say, hey, you can't know that. He then gives them something to do. He says, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. And you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria, and even to the ends of the earth. Hey, if there's some number you're looking for in life, if there's some big answer and it still remains mysterious, I really encourage you to take Jesus' advice here, is to allow the Holy Spirit to fill us, and to be his witnesses. We have a job to do. Until those answers come, until those numbers arrive, be faithful. Be obedient, be joyful, be thankful, and see how the Lord will handle that. Hey, for our prayer time today, let's pray for our researchers and scientists. Now, there's a trend I want to mention that I'm seeing in the news. Like, it's that science can answer all of our issues related to COVID-19. Of course, researchers and scientists, drug manufacturers, uh, trials, studies, hospitals, all these have crucial roles to play. But there's more to life than research and scientists. And there's a spiritual dynamic at work in our world and nation and in our heart now. 
where God can get our attention and that our lives can be better, uh, even if a vaccine is never found, even if the research comes up empty. Uh, God doesn't come up empty. And so let's pray for our researchers and scientists and our own needs this morning. Let's bow our heads. Dear Jesus, uh, thank you for science. It's an extension of your mind. As these scientists discover what you created, what you invented, what you determined, Lord, we just give you praise that uh, men and women of every nation, uh, all around the world, universities, laboratories, research facilities, they're working literally around the clock to help us overcome this worldwide pandemic. And Jesus, you're on your throne around the clock. You're working to soothe and to calm and to even bring healing uh, when a uh, vaccine is not yet available. So Lord, we pray that there would be a medical research breakthrough in this COVID-19 crisis. Won't you create that? Lord, won't you just help these scientists discern and recognize when they've hit on something big. Lord, until then, and even after then, Lord, we want you to be bigger in our lives. We want to serve you with more fullness and vitality. Oh Lord, physical healing isn't the end all. Well, there's a spiritual nature to ourselves, and I pray that you'd heal us in our spirits and in our emotions. Lord, touch us in body, mind, and soul, and fit us, please, for heaven. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Once again, thank you for checking out today's uh, service. Continue clicking through the worship songs, the sermon, uh, the trivia question, and then at the very end, if you'd like to, you can participate in the offering, and there's also a feedback form that you can click on to tell us how you're doing and what you learned about today's message. Bye.